Hi everybody. Before we start our next tutorial on home cooking for your dog, I wanted to say that those of you that don't want to listen to all my videos to learn how to home cook, I am now offering online coaching one-on-one -on -one, where we talk on the phone and I could walk you through everything you need to know. Or if you already know some stuff, you can pick my brain. So I hope that you would consider signing up for an online coaching lesson. You can contact me at cutthekibble at gmail.com. You could DM me on IG or send me a message on YouTube and I will send you an input form and we'll see if we're a good match. So for now, let's enjoy this YouTube tutorial on baking up a pork roast in a cooking bag, something new that I haven't shared with you. That's it. Hi everybody and welcome to Cut the Kibble. I'm Paula and this is my 11 and a half year old Bijan Bella that I've been cooking for since she was seven months old. And today I'm going to make a pork recipe, but I'm gonna be cooking it differently. So I wanted to share that with you. I've shared with you pork recipes in the slow cooker and I don't know, they were kind of dry. You know, I really had to get my food processor working. So I'm gonna pay, uh, bake it in the oven. I have my oven preheated now to 325, but I'm gonna bake it using a cooking bag. Have you guys used these? This is how I always cook my turkeys. Every single year, I've been married, um, I don't know, 35, 36 years, I don't know. Every year I cook it in a bag. One time my husband fried up the turkey, but I always get compliments how moist it is. And the key is to use a cooking bag. So the one that I got, I'm doing a roast here. It's um, around two pounds. And you know, I just pulled something out of my closet. This bag that I'm using is for up to 10 pounds. And if you've never used a plastic cooking bag, um, you can get them where you get your Reynolds Wrap. This is by Reynolds Wrap. One of the keys to it is that you have to put flour in it so the bag doesn't explode. Well, I never use white flour, so I'm using some almond flour that I have. You put like a tablespoon of flour in it, and you shake it up to coat it. Oh, shake it up, baby. Okay, and then you're gonna put your meat in. Now let's talk about the meat. Um, I started using pork mm, a few months ago, and you gotta be careful, because I went again today to the store, and the Swift brand pork on the back of it, I should have taken a picture, but the ingredients were pork, water, um, broth, and something else. No, you don't want that, you don't want it. That's full of sodium and who knows what's in that broth. So you have to even read ingredients for the protein you get. So this brand, I don't know if you can get it where you are. You can look for other brands. Nature's Best, is that what it's called? Nature's Promise. The only thing in this, look at the ingredients, can you see it? Is pork. So that's awesome. So I got this and it has fat on it. I'm going to put it in the bag, fat side up, so the fat drains through the uh, meat to make it a little moist. It's not a lot of fat and pork is a very lean meat. I know I tell you always have to be careful of fat, but that's when you like buy beef. Beef can have a ton of fat in it. So this is fine. So um, bear with me and follow me as I make this recipe and I'll get back to you in a little bit. And I hope I get back to you. I just had my second COVID vaccine. Let's see, what time is it? Uh, two hours ago. So hopefully I can do this whole recipe. I hope I'm not gonna be out. <laughs> anyway, let's go see how this works. Okay, so I washed my pork roast and I patted it dry. And I don't know if you can see it, but I put some slits in the, in the top of the meat. Again, I'm gonna cook this fat side up. And in these slits, I'm gonna put garlic. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna stick it in there. Just give it a nice garlic flavor. And this will be the garlic allotment that I will be putting in the recipe. It's just two cloves and I just cut them into like four pieces each. Okay, so that's pretty easy peasy. If you don't wanna do garlic, that's fine. You know that I always do a little garlic. It helps with the immune system and warding off um, fleas I'm sorry, and ticks. So now I'm gonna put some EVOO. Uh, this is what I'm using today because this is what I have. It's from Trader Joe's Extra Virgin. Has a little fruity flavor. It's from Spain. Very, actually, it's, it smells very nice. I'm looking forward to using this. So I'm gonna put some of this olive oil on here. And that's gonna add to the gravy. Now I don't have my, uh, my gloves are, I'm not really working very well here or full deck. You know, I haven't done a cooking video in quite a while because I haven't needed to. I am really, um, I have a very good inventory. And what I've realized, again, I've been doing this for 11 and a half years, but what I realized, I started using this um, pork protein and I am now rotating so many proteins that I'm not running out of food. The only thing that I have to cook like once a week is eggs because she always gets eggs in the morning. So anyway, here we have our bag again. I'm gonna shake this up one more time. Again, I don't use white flour for anything. I don't use whole wheat flour. I, most of my flour is oat flour, but I'm using, I didn't want to take out the um, Vitamix to make oat flour, so I'm just using the uh, almond flour. And now I'm gonna get the pork, and I'm gonna put fat side up in this bag. And I'm gonna take my gloves off. And to that, I'm going to add a few ingredients um, that are raw. And after this cooks, I'll be adding other stuff. So this is a small sweet potato. So this will be my um, high starchy veggie. And then I'm gonna do some shiitake mushrooms that I just got. And I get a lot of comments. I didn't know dogs can have mushrooms. Well, they shouldn't have mushrooms out of your yard. Those are poisonous. And the only medicinal mushrooms are reishi mushrooms, which I've never seen in the grocery store, and shiitake mushrooms. Uh, it's anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory. It just has a lot of good properties. So I'm gonna add maybe a half a cup of mushrooms. You can never, don't ever put raw mushrooms into your recipe, the, the mushrooms have to be cooked for the dog to eat it and get the uh, medicinal value out of it. Of course, I'm putting it in raw, but it's gonna cook. So, now if you've never used a cooking bag, hold on, let me find my little thingy here. Inside the box, you'll have these ties. So you get one, and make sure you don't lose these. These are for your other bags that come with it. And you're gonna go ahead, you know, if I had some nice herbs, like basil or mint, I could put that in here, but I don't have that today. I'm gonna be growing that in a few weeks. This is, gotta make sure we don't get any more. Um, oops, are you okay, Belle? Don't be licking that olive oil. I know you like that, but I don't know how clean my sink is. Um, I'll be planting some herbs in a few weeks. So now, another secret, not a secret, this is a must, and read the directions on the box. I'm not telling you something that I learned on my own. This is the directions. You have to vent the bag. So I'm gonna get a knife, and I'm gonna put three little cuts in it. One, it's like the cuts I did for the garlic, two, three. Of course you wanna do it on the top, not on the bottom, because another good reason of cooking in a bag is that there's 
no cleanup. And you know me, <laughs> cut the kibble. I don't like to clean. I like to cook, but I don't like to clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the oven. It's two pounds. And again, the great thing about cooking with a bed, it comes with recipes. Of course, these aren't recipes for your dog, but it comes with directions for cooking all your proteins, turkey, poultry, beef, lamb, pork, and smoked pork. So this was two pounds and it's, um, let's see, pork, loin, roast, boneless. There's so many choices for pork. And two to three pounds needs to cook one to one and a half hours. So I'm gonna put it on one hour. Oh, I'm crooked here, I'm so sorry. And check back with it. And then we'll continue on with the recipe. Okay, stay tuned. One thing I forgot to tell you, you need to put all the racks down low in your oven. You have this um, bag on a baking dish and the bag's gonna expand. So you don't want it to be touching the top of your oven. So that's good. So the pork roast took around 50 minutes to get to 160 degrees. And I'm going to add some um, asparagus that I cooked and froze and some broccoli. Those are gonna be my low starchy foods. And I'm going to add blueberries. I have a beef heart, beef liver, and mussels and some other stuff. So stay tuned, right Miss Bella? Stay tuned. So the pork came out really nice and tender. I cut it up and now I'm gonna put it in the food processor. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is put our pork in our um, food processor. I really like how this cooked up again um, in the bag. It's much moister. And I, I'm gonna admit I made a mistake. I'm not good at reading instructions. The instructions on the bag said to add a quarter of a cup of water and I didn't do it, but you know, it had the liquid from the mushrooms because the mushrooms shriveled up and um, I'm gonna give her a little bit right here because she, my sous chef, and she normally eats at three o'clock and it's like almost 3.30. I thought I would do a special treat today and um, let's see if I can pour this in here and give her a fresh meal. Okay, so we have that in there. And I'm going to go ahead and mix this up. Okay. People always ask, Paula, why do you put everything through the food processor? I do it for several reasons. She doesn't have a lot of teeth. But even if your dogs have teeth, this is, I'm pre-digesting her food for her. Okay, especially when dogs get older, they lose the ability to digest their food. So I'm helping her. So now I'm doing animal essential seaweed calcium. Oh, Belle's looking the sink. And it's one teaspoon per pound, <coughs> excuse me, per pound of protein. So this was two, tea, two uh, pounds. So I'm gonna do two teaspoons of protein. I don't mix, measure everything, but I definitely measure my calcium. Okay, so now the next thing I'm gonna add is my cut the kibble Omega Busta, packed with omegas, pumpkin seed, flax seed, and hemp hearts. Okay, if you make this, I have a recipe on my playlist. You have to keep it in the refrigerator because those they're oils and they can go rancid. All right, so now I'm going to add some stuff. I'm going to add this big ass sardine. Jeezy peasy, look how big that is. Okay, I'm going to give her a little bit. That's why when you do a recipe, I can't just say add one or two sardines. They're all different sizes, okay? And I'm going to add four mussels. Now the, the sardines were for um, the omega-3s, 
The muscles also, these are very good if your dogs have arthritis. Yeah, she doesn't really have arthritis, but she's 11 years old. So I'm trying to help her along. I'm gonna add um, half a cup of blueberries, some beef heart and beef liver. The beef liver should never be more than um, 5%. This is very fatty. And in here, with the broccoli and the asparagus, I have a sweet potato that cooked up to perfection in 50 minutes, and the portobello mushrooms and the juice. So I'm gonna put all this in here. Oops, splashy, splashy. And I'm gonna give her a little bit. Bella loves, loves cooked broccoli. Let me take, feel it, that's not too hot. It's like her favorite vegetable. And I always started giving her broccoli a little while ago. So now, I hope I'm not gonna get all annoyed because it looks like there's a lot in here. I wish they would make, this is like a 14 cup food processor. I wish they would make a 30 cup. Is she licking the sink? Okay, I'm gonna have to mix this up a little bit more, so hold on. So now I'm gonna measure out four ounces, because that's what she gets twice a day, is four ounces. You see she's very hungry. And I try to be exact. 4.0, oh, you probably can't see that. And I'm gonna get a food bowl. I'm gonna put it in there. Oops, I dropped some. And I like to add a little water to this. I always like to add water to her food. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the Iceland Pure fish oil and I'm gonna do one squirt. And I'm gonna mix that up. And now she's ready to eat. Can't you tell? Are you ready to eat? Stay there. Come over here, come over here. Say, go eat. Yeah, that good for you. Is that good for the baby? Yeah, we're having a, what is that called? Vision cam of Bella eating her food. So anyway, let me know if you wanna have a consultation. Um, one hour and we can go very slow. How, you know, however you much knowledge you have, I could, Add to it, you can pick my brain, but this is the best way to feed your dogs. Isn't it, Bella?